The election-related violence from yesterday spilled over to today and in parts of the city, roads were blocked off as candidates' supporters braced for a possible clash. These are scenes from Saraga, the home of incumbent Pangu party man John Kauper. After getting news of fights in parts of the city, men were armed and ready for what was to come. Mr. Kauper quickly stopped the gathering from getting out of control. By the afternoon, all top faces in the Mosby Notice open race were seated at one table with the incumbent governor. They had a common goal, that was to end violence. I want to give this assurance to all our people that the government from the national and for me as governor, we are doing all we can to bring calm and security to our city, to our children, to our business houses, to women and girls in our city and to men as well in our city. I want to appeal to our people in the city to also be calm and allow the security forces to deal with the situation in the city. I'm not because of the political reasons or picking in you mean all work man by then I go to school. All must work, city and me hard life. People must work to survive. All picking in must go to school. So because of political reasons that you may work in the hub, now governor and me touch a finish. City come to a standstill. But all get a line because of all for it is laws, but only few people are doing that. Look hard to bring him bad name of city in online bring me over. The candidates expressed concern and vowed to cooperate with police to apprehend those involved. I also appeal to some other candidates who think that they can use this opportunity to fail the elections in the city. It will not happen. We must not allow opportunities to fail these elections in the city. Elections comes five years and it has to go. This is a capital city of Papua New Guinea. Something may go wrong in other parts of the country, but not in the nation's capital. Let me, me like appeal with some of us. Uh, some of us, let me, all family, all friends, let me, please. Um, no one can hands, people, all family, let me, not some of us, let me, let must be noticed. Who said money involved inside Lodisla? Lo 75 black candidates, me like most people are going to cooperate. Now, I'm going to say, man, or Mary, who said, is that a Mr. problem? Now, I'm going to say, the police, I'm going to say, I must work one time. One of the women candidates contesting amongst the 76 for the seat said candidates need to also be investigated. We need the police to intervene. We need them to find out, you know, if us candidates, if we instigated this sort of things, then we need to be penalized for this. If we instructed our supporters to just so much as lift us a knife against another person, this is just unacceptable behavior. And if we want to profess to be leaders, we can't be doing this in a place that we want to legally represent people. Like, it really broke me yesterday. She added, there is no room for violence in the city. We have a responsibility as candidates for Port Mosby Notice, all 76 of us. We have a responsibility to get to the bottom of this, understand this, work together, and surrender our supporters in to be questioned. If they are people that we did not sanction them, if us as candidates we didn't give the approval, but if they are our supporters, and you know PNG politics support us to get emotionally invested. If this is something that we know, we need to surrender them to the police because they need to be dealt with, they need to know. The candidates said they will control their supporters and call for people to be vigilant on any opportunists that might want to take advantage of the situation. Bradley Valenaki for Inside PNG.